All right. Uh, in this video, we're going to do the graphs for scenario number two. So we're going to divide this into two videos. Um, remember, this is about uh, the trade between U.S. and Mexico, and we just made up an example using two simple products of corn and avocados. Um, so we can go ahead and start by drawing the PPF for each country. Okay, so this is for the U.S., and I'm going to... Uh, in my graph, I'm going to shorten avocado just to make it simple and just use AVO, okay? And so remember, the U.S. could do, if they put all of their resources towards corn, they could do 100 corn. And if they put all the resources towards avocados, they could do 20 avocados. And we said the trade-off is constant. So what that means is we're just going to draw a straight line here, okay? And then we can go ahead and do the PPF for Mexico. So Mexico, the uh also the same two products okay and so for mexico we said they could do 60 uh corn if they put all the resources towards corn and 120 avocados if they put all the resources towards avocados and so uh the their ppf would look like this okay so that's that's what we have so far and that's just translating the numbers we had uh, from the notes into this PPF format. Okay, so the first thing we can say about the two countries, we can say, well, we can say U.S. has absolute advantage in corn. So we can see that because, uh, remember, in the, in the problem, we assume that hey, they're using the same amount of land and labor, so resources are the same, but U.S. is producing more. Okay, and then finally, uh, or can produce more, not is producing more. Mexico has absolute advantage in avocados. Okay, so um, why they have this advantage, and again, this is uh, not a real example, although it's probably true, uh, but it's not a real example. Um, it's just made up to, to illustrate the point. Um, but anyways, they, it, it could be partially based on geographical conditions that the the soil and climate in the U.S. is better for corn, and the soil and climate in Mexico is better for avocados. It also could be um, things to do with, with technology, skill, the presence of certain companies that know how to do um, one product better than the other. Okay, lots of things. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is we need to we'll, we'll go ahead and copy opportunity costs. Now, we've done these in the other videos um, that we did before, so you kind of should be familiar with this. So we're going to do the opportunity cost of each kit in each country. Okay, so we're going to do, so we're going to do for, um, start for the U.S., okay, and then we'll do for Mexico. Okay, so, and remember the opportunity cost is related, it's not the same thing as the slope exactly, but it's related to the slope, okay. So we can see, for example, uh, along this line, um, if we, if we're going to, let's say, suppose we cut, our, um, if we go five less corn, we can see we're going to get one more avocado. So we're going to see that in, in a second, but you can kind of get this idea because we have this five to one ratio between corn and avocados. So the simplest way to do it when we have a straight line is just to say, well, if I go, for, I can either get a hundred corn and no avocados, or I can get no corn and 20 avocados. So basically you can trade this point A for this point B. Okay, um, and so there we can trade ourselves. We could go from one stream to the other. Of course, we can also go to the points in between, but those are a little bit more complicated. And so then we just divide uh, both sides by 100, and we end up with one corn is equal to, that's two out of 10, and then that'll be one out of five, so one-fifth of an avocado. And then we can multiply both sides by five, and rearrange the two sides, and we end up with one avocado is equal to five corn. Okay, so we end up with this situation. And so this little pair right here, that is our opportunity cost. So we can circle that. And then we go on the other side, and we do the same thing. So now for Mexico, they could choose to do 60 corn, or they could go to the other extreme and choose to do 120 units of avocado, Right, so those are their, their two extreme choices. So divide by 60, both sides. Um, and so this is gonna get us two. So one corn is now, oops, let me write the other pin. 
one corn, two avocado. And then dividing both sides by two, we could also get one avocado is equal to two. Oh, sorry. One half of a corn. Okay. And then we can circle that. These are our opportunity costs. Now, the next thing to do is to do a comparison of the two. Okay, so we're going to compare these two. So I say, well, we so we're going to compare first the corn, corn to corn. Okay, so we're going to cross those two. So, well, in in the U.S., um, one in the U.S. here, one corn is only cost you a fifth of an avocado, but in Mexico it costs two avocados, meaning the production cost when we trade off. If we want to trade off between these two, so the U.S. is much cheaper. Right, it can produce avocados much cheaper, and then in in Mexico um, we find that uh, the corn is more expensive to make, but then necessarily that means the avocados are cheaper to make because it's trading off between the two things. So we compare the avocados. Well, in the U.S. they're really expensive; they cost five corn to make, and in Mexico they're really cheap; they only cost half a unit of corn to make. So we can get these situations. So this gives us our final uh, conclusion for this video. So the U.S. in the U.S. it's cheap to produce corn and in Mexico it's cheap to produce avocados in terms of opportunity cost. And so the way we write that, we can say the U.S. has a comparative advantage in corn. Okay. And we can also therefore then say Mexico has, oops, I can just do this. Okay, so that's the conclusion we came up with here. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about should they trade and because they can both produce both things. They're both capable of doing corn and avocados. So we're going to talk about should they trade and we're going to try to show that if they do trade, they'll not only produce more, but they'll also be able to consume more. Okay, so um, give me, well, let's just wait for the next video for, for that topic.